Bill Muncy was Thunderboating's king, the sports crown prince. With 25 victories to his credit, 23 of them in Miss Budweiser hydroplanes, Chenoweth recorded the sport's second best driving tally in 14 years at the wheel, second only to Bill Muncy. Dean Chenoweth came to the Unlimiteds aboard Lee Shaneth's radical V-tailed Miss Smirnoff in 1968 after a long, successful career in smaller hydroplanes in the Ohio Valley. Chenoweth scored his first victory in the MERS Special in 1969 in the Tri-Cities Atomic Cup. In 1970, the talented chauffeur was persuaded to drive Bernie Little's fourth Miss Budweiser. The switch was a good move for Budweiser and for Dean Chenoweth. He captured his first Gold Cup title. From 1970 through 71, Dean and the Budweiser won six races. Dean had his first accident in the Unlimiteds in the Tri-Cities when the Bud pitched him into the Columbia in 1970, though he was not seriously hurt. After jumping ship to drive a season aboard Shirley McDonald's Notre Dame, Dean Chenoweth returned to a new Miss Budweiser and cranked out four wins for owner Bernie Little in 1973, including another Gold Cup. After winning once in 1974, Chenoweth left hydroplane racing in mid-season, pursuing business interests that kept him out of racing for nearly five years. Chenoweth's winning record was interrupted while Mickey Riemann and Howie Benz and Ron Snyder attempted with considerable success to keep the Budweiser in the winner's circle. When Bernie Little broke tradition and built his first cab over in 1979, Chenoweth was invited to visit the Seattle boat shop of the Budweiser to view the new concept, and he was hooked again and signed to drive, though the boat wasn't completed until mid-season 79. In 1979, the Budweiser was exceptionally fast, and though Dean Chenoweth had some reservations at the end of the season, the team attempted to break the world's propeller-driven speed record on Lake Washington in October. At over 220 miles an hour, the Miss Budweiser flipped in a record attempt and Chenoweth was seriously injured. A new Budweiser was prepared for the 1980 circuit and Dean Chenoweth annexed five more trophies that year, including his third gold cup before the Thunderboats reached Seattle. In a qualifying effort here that appeared record-breaking in nature, the Budweiser's rudder sheared off and again Chenoweth was at the mercy of fate. It was a severe crash, but the Budweiser and Dean Chenoweth would race again. In 1981, Dean Chenoweth captured six more race wins and his fourth APBA Gold Cup. And he opened the 82 season with another win in Miami. But this 82 season had been frustrating for Dean Chenoweth and the Bud team, and they sought to get back on track at the Tri-Cities last week. On the front straightaway at over 175 miles an hour, the magnificent Miss Budweiser blew over again. But this time, Dean Chenoweth did not survive. The crown prince of Thunderboating is gone. 25 victories, only two of which came in Seattle. Four gold cups and some of the finest driving performances in history. That's the legacy of Dean Chenoweth. In the wake of the shocking loss of Bill Muncy last fall, another unlimited hydroplane great has perished. Dean Chenoweth. We will miss